Let's talk about how to use an SF6 analyzer. Most modern SF6 analyzers have full touchscreen displays that are very user intuitive. The technology and sensors that are used can differ, but the general operation of an analyzer is similar no matter what brand you're using. SF6 analyzers are designed to measure the impurities in the gas. SF6 purity measurement data is displayed directly in percent volume SF6. Humidity measurement data can be displayed in PPMV, PPMW, and dew point. And SO2 concentration results are displayed in PPMV. All of the measurement readings are displayed on the main screen of the device regardless of what brand you're using. To begin a test, we first need to connect our gas sample hose to our analyzer. Now this is a braided stainless steel Teflon hose and on the ends are these quick disconnect fittings. They're Rectus Type 21. There's a male and a female. The male will connect directly into our analyzer. And you'll hear a click whenever it's connected. And you're done. It's best practice to clear out our sample hose before we get started. If your analyzer has an evacuating function, the button is generally called something like evacuate hose or hose vacuum. The evacuation process will begin and will take a few moments to complete. Once the hose has been vacuumed, the device will alert you that the function is complete and you're ready to move on. There are normally two adapter fittings that are included with an analyzer, which is the smaller DN8 fitting and the larger DN20 fitting. So let's take a look at those. So here we have the larger DN20 fitting. and then the smaller DN8 fitting. These will screw directly onto the breaker and then the hose will snap directly onto the end with the Rectus Type 21 male. Sometimes your breaker won't have a DN8 or a DN20 connection on it, which is why it's helpful to bring along an analyzer adapter kit which has multiple different fittings that go back to a Rectus Type 21 connection. Like for instance, this Malmquist, which is found on a lot of ABB breakers, you can connect your gas sample hose directly to the end of it. Same thing with our AeroQuip fitting, which you can connect your gas sample hose to after you connect it to the breaker as well, and a whole host of other ones. Next, check to see if you have adequate gas pressure coming from the breaker. Most testers require more than 7.5 PSI, which is about half a bar, and generally less than about 150 PSI. Now let's begin analyzing. The breaker we're working with today has a DN8 connection on it, so we'll go ahead and use our DN8 to quick disconnect fitting that came with our analyzer. So we'll go ahead and screw off the protective cap, and this will screw directly onto our breaker. Now make sure not to over tighten these you can hand tighten it and make sure it's snug and it should be fine, just like that. So now that we have our adapter fitting hooked up to our breaker and our gas sample hose is evacuated, we can go ahead and hook that up directly to the end of the fitting. And again, you'll hear it click when it's, when it's connected and you're good to go. You'll hear the analyzer start to fill up with some gas and this is normal. The next step is to start analyzing. Normally this is initiated with a button that says sample or start test or analyze. A countdown timer will begin on the screen to let you know how much time you have left until the test is complete. Once you have completed your test, your resulting values will display on the screen. It's at this point you should either record, print out, or save your test results, depending on what your needs are. The device you're using may have an automatic pump back function where the gas gets pumped back out of the analyzer into the reservoir. If this doesn't start automatically, start it manually by hitting a function normally labeled pump back. If you're doing multiple samples at a time, it's best to avoid pumping the gas back into the breaker as this can spike your moisture levels. Because most analyzers can only hold up to two gas samples at a time, it's best to use a gas recovery bag like this one. 
These hook directly into the analyzer with a smaller version of the quick connect fitting shown earlier, which is a Rectus Type 20. We can store up to 25 measurements in these bags before we need to pump the gas out of the bag into a cylinder that is labeled for used gas. Once you're done with all your measurement tests, wind up all your hoses, replace all the caps on the end of the fittings, turn off the analyzer, and pack it up for storage.